Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, The Real Super Sam. Today is a brand new, maybe important, Forgotten Spider-Man Rogue video, and I hope you enjoy. Next year in the Craven the Hunter solo movie, the villain Calypso will be making her live action appearance as well. Many, many people have no idea about the specifics of the character, and that makes this a special character for my 50th... 55th, not 50th, that one was for Speed Demon, my 55th Forgotten Spidey Rogue video. Calypso first premiered in The Amazing Spider-Man, issue 209, October 1980. Calypso here is already Craven's girlfriend. She started to care for him when he first started hunting Spider-Man. Seeing Spider-Man, Calypso secretly releases some zoo animals for Craven to fight and take down to try and return Craven to his natural greatness. Calypso back home tells Craven Spider-Man unlocked those cages. Craven doesn't really believe her. Then she goes him into fighting Spider-Man again, and at the end, the two go to prison. She returned in the spectacular Spider-Man issue 365. The story opens with Craven hunting and defeating some robbers for practice. Above them all, Calypso has new drums that distract people who are fighting Craven. When Craven finds Spider-Man again, she uses her drums to distract Spidey, but it doesn't work. Then she secretly poisons Spider-Man with a dart, making him view freaky illusions, forcing Craven to actually save Spider-Man, and he yells at Calypso later for almost ruining him by granting him a false easy victory behind his back. Her next appearance was in the Spider Man 1990 series, issues 1 through 5, in the story Torment. Ultimately, in this story, Calypso's powers have increased since she sacrificed her younger sister. She can now basically mind control the lizard, but a fight happens and it apparently kills Calypso in the process. She then was in Daredevil, issues 310 and 311. In this two-parter, Calypso is kidnapping refugees and turning them into zombies. She enslaves Daredevil, but Brother Voodoo helps the man without fear, and when her plan fails, she deliberately drops a building upon herself. She was in Peter Parker's Spider-Man Annual 1997. In this story, thanks to an amulet, Calypso's spirit is still alive, and she has a servant steal her body from the morgue and bury it in Cypress Hill, so her body could slowly regenerate back to life. She then possesses the body of Gloria Grant, who is on a Caribbean cruise. As Gloria, Spider-Man must let Calypso continue to heal her old body to save his friend, so the ending has Glory Grant back to normal and the resurrected Calypso escape. Next for the character was her most well-known appearance. Well, maybe the story Torment is her most famous one, but anyway. She was then in Spider-Man The Animated Series, episode 45, titled The Return of Craven the Hunter. In the show, her name is Mariah Crawford. She was in Spider-Man Taz episode 10, Craven's first appearance in the show, and was accidentally responsible for driving Craven mad. Then she was in episodes 18 through 21, helping Spider-Man with his mutation disease and eventually making a cure for him. Finally, in this episode, Craven is hunting a new deadly creature across New York. He's back to the crazy grunt he was, taking the jungle herb serum again. Turns out the creature is Mariah Crawford, Calypso, and she was badly hurt and needed the herb serum to survive, like Sergei Kravenov did in episode 10. They partly cure Calypso at the end, and her and Craven decide to leave New York together forever. Her very last comic story was across the spectacular Spider-Man 249, 250, 252, and 253. So in here, Calypso, using her powers, has Spider-Man and Alexei Kravinov, Kraven the Hunter's son, fight each other. The two fought off her spell and shook hands. Alexei tells Spidey he'll keep Calypso in his mansion, so she will tell him more about his father. But when Spidey leaves, he just slays her, ending Calypso forever. But she was not gone, because next she was in the Spider-Man 3 movie video game. In it, she first fought Spider-Man by herself, but fled. She returned with Kraven the Hunter by her side, giving him various potions, and she mutated the lizard in an, into an even more monstrous form. After Kraven was KO'd, she fled again. She had a small part in the spectacular Spider-Man episode 15, Destructive Testing. Here, she's still Kraven's girlfriend, and apparently a voodoo priestess. Her and Kraven both went to America to hunt Spider-Man at the end of the episode. She even helps Kraven escape Spidey's web. Actually, in the scene, there are weird drums playing, after Craven is knocked out, and Spider-Man looks behind him, and then back to the spot Craven was just at, and of course, he's disappeared. I have a theory that those drums were played by Calypso, like when she used them in Spectacular Spider-Man issue 65 to distract enemies. And her last appearance to date, before a new movie next year, is her appearance in the DS version of Spider-Man Shuttered Dimensions. After obtaining a fragment of the Tablet of Order and Chaos, Calypso attempted to incite a ritual that would resurrect her late lover, Craven. The Spider-Man caught her and, believing she'd unleashed something beyond her control, took the fragment from her, and this was in the Noir Dimension. 
That was Lilith Calypso, she is a Spider-Man rogue with voodoo powers and over her very small appearances has established herself as much, much more than just Kraven's girlfriend. Surprisingly, she may be more powerful than Kravenoff with mind control and mystic potions. I'm thinking it was a missed opportunity that she had absolutely nothing to do with the storyline Grim Hunt, where the original Kraven comes back from the dead. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm very happy that she is in the Craven the Hunter solo movie next year, and there's at least three more requested Forgotten Rogues for this channel I will soon upload. Also, I get that most people who watch this may not think of her as Forgotten, and I 99% agree with you. I mean, she was in two cartoons and two video games, but since 99% of non-comic fans have no idea about her history, I think she's one villain who counts. Anyway, thanks for watching, like always, and have a good one.